What's up YouTube, Jonathan here from iShoot Images and today we're going to talk about batteries. Let's not waste any time, roll that intro! If you've got a DSLR camera with a hot shoe, and let's face it, most of them do, then at some point in time you've probably thought about getting a flash, or a speed light as they're known. Now you might be asking yourself, uh, what's a hot shoe? The hot shoe is the metal bracket on top of your camera with electrical contacts where you can mount and connect an external device, such as a flash. Flash photography has never been easier to get into. Whether you're using top brands such as this Canon 600EX, which is worth hundreds of dollars, or a cheap Chinese knockoff version, which is far less. This is a Jin Bei? Jin Bai? I, I can't pronounce it, I've got no idea. Now the flash is powered by batteries. What's important to keep in mind though is which type of batteries you need to use. Most flashes take AA size batteries, however you don't want to use just any old brand and type. Why? Because of the recharge time. Just like your body needs time to recharge after exercise, your batteries need time to recharge after use. That's not if your batteries are rechargeable or not, it's how long it takes the battery to power up again after being used in the flash. Recycle time is the few seconds we have to wait for the flash to become ready to take the next shot. Recycle time is virtually immediate after we've taken a low power flash, such as at an eighth power or quarter power. However, we have to wait up to a few seconds to get maximum power. These are cheap Panasonic AA batteries and for flash photography, they're useless. Sorry, Panasonic, but they are. I use these to power up small LED lights, but for flash photography, they are useless. That's because the recharge rate is between five and eight seconds, which is useless to a photographer, especially if you're taking lots of shots in quick succession. The best batteries that you can use in your flash are the rechargeable nickel metal hydride, or NIMH, as they're known. Now these are more expensive than your standard batteries, but they will last you for years. So when you're looking for nickel metal hydride batteries, make sure you get the ones that are either 2300 or 2500 MAH. Yeah, but Jonathan, what's MAH? Are you going to tell us what MAH stands for, smartass? Of course. MAH stands for milliamp hour. It's a measure of your battery's energy storage level. If you think of your battery as a small fuel storage tank, the MAH is a measure of how much fuel the battery holds. Last of all, make sure you get yourself the rechargeable set of batteries. Now, I've been using Energizer for years, they don't sponsor this video, but I've been using them for a long time. I find them fantastic, and a set of batteries can last me 12 months, 18 months, sometimes 24 months, depending on how often I'm using them. The choice is up to you. Just make sure you get yourself a really good, powerful brand and get yourself a set with a charger. Yeah, look, it's expensive the first time, but you buy the charger once, you buy the batteries a few times, they last you forever. It's a worthwhile investment. Now, you don't have to take my word for it. Go out there and test it yourself. Take your camera, put yourself a really cheap set of batteries inside your flash and go out shooting for an entire day and see what happens. To begin with, the flash will recharge at a decent rate but as the day goes on, that recharge time will become longer and longer and longer. Then go out and get yourself the nickel metal hydride batteries. Do the same thing. Put them in your flash, go off and spend the day shooting. I guarantee you will see the difference and you'll never go back. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you found today's tip useful. Go out there and get yourself a set of nickel metal hydride batteries. You will definitely notice the difference. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Out.